All right, today we're working on an old York unit. Well, isn't that old? It's about 10 years old, a little bit more. Uh, some typical York arrangement here. I think it's been the same for about 20 years or so, uh, as far as the York package unit. So we got fuse blocks for the heater, for the compressor. There's our contactor. Over here we got our defrost board. Down here we got our blower board. Got our dual run capacitor. Uh, 240 or 208 to 24 volt transformer. This old Copeland scroll. What we're gonna do today is this thing sounds a little rough starting out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a hard start to it because um, it's obviously having a trouble starter. You can tell just from trying to hear it start. Usually you'll hear a, a little, I'll say enhanced hum or jolt. This thing has a two or three second jolt because it's just having a difficult time getting started. So we're going to add a hard start to it. Uh, the door runs fine, so that wasn't an issue. And we're going to test it out here. What we got is a... I only use three wire hard starts because there's the only ones that really work. And this is a subco version. Uh, it says it replaces the compressor saver from 521. And at Johnstone this month, these are on sale, so these are the ones we have. And it actually comes with a little mounting bracket, which I actually like. We're going to mount it in there and wire it up and see how she works. Well, I tell you what, that right there is pretty cool. I like that little hanger that I got right there. And you hang them both together. That's really neat. Put them in there and clip them right in. And they're already nice and tucked away. Look at that. That is a, that is a lot better than a two-wire subcoat. Cool. We're going to wire it up now. Uh, show you how to wire it. They have a wiring diagram on the capacitor, too. Well, they went above and beyond, didn't they? So we'll uh, wire it up. All right. First, you can see here's our common and run from the compressor. Uh, down here on the dual run, you can see this brown here is the start for the compressor. Come over here and you can confirm that. You can look down there and just double check that those are the wire colors you see. Because different manufacturers are different color wires to be punks. So what we're going to do first is you see we're using a dual run capacitor here. So we'll follow that diagram there. Uh, the black our number five terminal from the potential relay will first go ahead and put on the common and we found out a second ago that this is the common and it's usually black so we'll plug it in right here on this terminal of the contactor so we'll take the black here plug it on this terminal of the contactor and that'll be our common and there we go all right we'll dress it up when we're done all right the run is a red and we're taking it to the common on the capacitor from the start capacitor right here so we're taking it to the common on the capacitor which I don't know if I'm able to do with the camera but it's down there where that uh, red and purple go right there so I'm gonna stop this so I can plug that in alright our last culprit will be the white and we're looking at taking it to the hermetic side of the dual run capacitor and uh, it is actually usually written either an H or a Herm for Hermetic, and it just refers to the type of compressor. It's hermetically sealed. Uh, another type would be semi-hermetic on a larger system. You might have one of those, but all residential and most light commercial will be Hermetic. So we'll plug it into the Herm terminal, which you can see right here on top. And uh, again, I'm going to stop this so I can do that. All right, let's review. Everything is put together here. I put a couple uh, straps on it to make it look a little nicer here. Although there's plenty of wires looking messy in here already. Uh, we have our star capacitor. This is for one to three ton units. This is a three ton unit. So our potential relay, as we recall from one of the last videos, back feeding uh, electricity from the compressor, powers this coil, takes this capacitor out of the loop once it's started. So it's only there while it starts. This is not an oil filled compressor. If it was there for longer than a few seconds, it would explode. But you see that relay mess up, this will explode. Uh, it's not nice. Well, it's a lot worse if this one explodes down here because it's full of oil and makes everything just horrible. So, what we have here is we have our three terminals on the dual run capacitor. 
the common terminal there on the bottom is where our red lead is from the start capacitor is plugged into we have our hermetic terminal and that's where our number two our white lead is plugged into and then our common or the black is plugged in up here at the common side of the contactor so now we are ready to button it up and go ahead and get it started we'll check and see how many amps she pulls at start all right we have the field piece electric candle here and amp clamp we have it set up for maximum or it will be there we are set up for maximum what we're going to do is clamp it around the common from the compressor see how many amps we draw on startup so we're going to have that in place and we're going to put the breaker back in right here and go get it calling for cooling to see how many amps we get on startup i'm looking to cut that locked rotor amperage it pulls on startup in half just like a 521 would just to make the compressor's life a little easier since it already sounds a little rough so we'll get it all hooked up and see what it does